Hey guys, so it is the end of the month, which means it is obviously June favorites time, which you guys know I love favorites videos. They're so fun for me to do, but I love the end of June because it means my birthday is soon because my birthday is on July the 15th and also my vacation is like in two seconds. So anyway, let me just get into these favorites so I don't sit here and bore you to death. So the first product that I've been loving is actually a nail polish. I never usually mention nail polishes in my favorites because I just feel like I change my polish all the time. This is Essie's Minimalistic and it is seriously like my perfect nail polish shade. I love very bright like stark colors. I would almost want to wear white on my nails except I feel like white nails can be a little bit eh. So this is like light getting that clean feel on your nails without being a white polish. I love it. It's brightening. It makes my hands look tan and... I don't know, I just can't see myself going to any other color yet because I'm having a major love affair with it and it's Essie's Minimalistic. Okay, so I guess while we're on the topic of things that I don't normally show, I'm gonna show you guys the non-makeup item before we do all the makeup. We're gonna talk about boobs for a second. This is something that I have found from a company called Skinny Bee Intimate. They are a company that's actually based in Canada, which is so cool, which is where I am. But with the summer coming, especially with my vacation, I have bought like strappy tops and backless dresses and I swear to you guys, I am like pretty flat chested so it's not really an option for me to wear nothing but then no bra really works with anything and so they make silicone bras, so stick on ones. This is so weird. So to make it last as long as possible, I stick these back on after every wear. This is what came with it. But this is basically what it is. It's like that chicken cutlet bra. I, if I just wear the ones that are one piece, I get no cleavage. It makes me even more flat chested. But these actually separate and you stick one on one boob, one on the other underneath your hair, of course. And then you connect to the center and the further apart you stick them, you kind of are pulling your boobs together so you're actually creating cleavage. There is a specific dress that I bought to wear on holiday that you guys are gonna see in my vacation haul and actually two of them and you cannot wear a bra with them and this has been a godsend. So yeah, I definitely had to share that one with you guys because if you're a small boob like me, or you have big boobs and you don't just want them to be jiggling everywhere, that is definitely the best silicone bra that I have tried and stick on bra that I have ever tried. Moving on to makeup now, my foundation of choice for this month, I have not worn anything other than the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. I am in the shade Golden. This foundation is super liquidy, like you shake it up and sometimes it oozes at the bottom, but I love it. It gives great coverage, it's buildable coverage, and it really makes my skin look so, so smooth. So obviously now that we're getting into summertime weather, I find some of my other foundations can start feeling a little heavy on the skin after a while but I literally cannot feel this on my skin I can wear this all day and not have that like feeling like I don't know, like I need to take my foundation off. And another thing that I love is that this does not sink into any of your fine lines. I have those annoying dog small lines. I call them my dog lines, but they're my small lines, which a lot of foundations can seep into. Like the NARS is really bad for that, but this doesn't seep into them. It glides over them really nicely. And I have been applying it with beauty blenders, which is another favorite of the month. I have never applied foundation with a beauty blender before, which I mean, I know. I've used beauty blenders for everything else but foundation, which is what they were first intended for. And it seriously is life changing. I love these things. Like, I just feel like my foundation looks so smooth, so skin like, so flawless. The beauty blender picks up any of the excess foundation, so I never get heavy coverage. And I also think that like the pressing it into my skin makes the foundation last and wear longer and better. I just am obsessed. I don't know, if you're like me and you're weird and you haven't tried applying your foundation with a beauty blender, it is life changing. So try it out and let me know. I'm totally going to be trying the beauty blender with my other foundations. Another face product which I've actually mentioned before in a favorites video, but it was so long ago and when it was when I just got the product. It's also from Laura Mercier. It is the Flawless Contouring Palette. This is the best cream contour I have ever tried. You can see it's well loved. I use every single shade in this palette. You do have this nice large cool shade here and then there are some warmer tones but these really replicate shadows nicely. This palette is so creamy. Everything is super pigmented. I just blend them out again with a damp beauty blender and then I set it with the Kat Von D shade and light but I seriously think this product, I have a round fat face and since getting this like my cheekbones have never been as on and popping and as defined. I also really really love this yellow highlight shade here which I thought I would hate. I put it down the center of my face like here and down my nose and a lot of you guys on Instagram thought I was using an app to get like the glow to my skin but it is really that highlighter underneath my powder highlighter that I use. It, it just makes your highlight like glow. Keeping with face products I want to speak to you about one blush. I only have one blush this month. This is Becca's Damselfly. I have been going back to my roots and doing my signature peachy bronzy glam a lot because it's summer and it's warm and nothing is better than like glowing peachy looks. 
my emails today are just popping. And this is the perfect peachy blush. It kind of straddles the line between a peach and a nude. It has great luminosity to it. I think it has some gold shimmer, but when you blend it on the cheek, it doesn't really look shimmery. It just looks like you have a nice glow from within. But Becca products are really great. I love their powder blushes. They give you the perfect glow. And this has just been my go-to blush for that peachy, bronzy, like J-Lo glow look. It looks amazing. I have two eyeshadows that I want to speak to you guys about. One is this ColourPop eyeshadow. Actually, I have been using a ton of ColourPop for the last month. But this one, if I could narrow it down to the one I've used the most, it is Tea Party. This one is just your light peachy shade with a ton of shimmer. This one is definitely glittery. And how I like to wear this is as an accent color. Like, on top of any neutral eyeshadow, I just pat it right on top. Even just a regular powder eyeshadow. I'll use my finger to go on top. And it just gives me this gorgeous, peachy, kind of reflective... I don't know, it reminds me of, like, pink champagne or something. So this has been my go-to. I'll pat it over anything. Except I didn't pat it over anything today, but I could have. And then I have gone back to an old favorite. I have raved about this so many times on my channel over the years. This is Max Tan Pigments. Oh, I still have it in the old drawer because it will never die. I would say it's like a rose gold with like an orange copper undertone. It is so pigmented. It goes on like paint when you swatch it. It is very metallic. It almost gives you that foiled finish, which you guys know I love without actually being a foiled eyeshadow. And I don't find for a pigment it has a lot of fallout just because it is so densely pigmented and like reflective. It just sticks on the lid. So this is like the perfect lid color. Anytime spring and summer comes around, I am always wearing this on my lid because it is very, very glowy. It just gives you that perfect glowy, dewy lid and it stands out from a mile. Anywho, lip products, I have three to show you. The first is a lipstick from MAC. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is kind of sexy lipstick. Like I told you before, I've been loving that peachy J-Lo bronzy glow. A nice nude lip, a bronze smoky eye, and a peachy cheek color, and I am set. This is just a nude color, but it has a lot of peach to it. So it's like the perfect balance between a peach and a nude. Sometimes you don't want to go too coral or too nuded out, and this is the perfect medium. When you get a tan, this looks even better. I was actually wearing it in my summer fitness routine if you guys want to see how it looks. I just think it is such a nice color. And then I have also gone back to another old favorite from MAC. This is my favorite lip gloss of all time, I would say. This is MAC's Luster Glass in Love Nectar. I have gone through, no joke, like eight of these in my lifetime because it is just the perfect peach color with gold glitter and shimmer in it. It is like not that great like when you swatch it. I mean, it is pretty. It's just like a peach with shimmers. But this can go over literally any single lipstick and it just makes it look 10 times better. So yeah, I've actually repurchased this again this month because I was like, oh my god, I'm out of Love Nectar. Like my old one got kind of gross and I was like, no girl, you need this. Especially for summer, Love Nectar just stays in my handbag. So it looks all good right now, but in about two seconds it will look ghetto and the writing will be scratched. And last but not least, I have Kat Von D's Lolita Liquid Lipstick. I mean, everyone and their mother loves this. This is everyone and their mother's favorite product, but I only wore it for the first time this month and girl, I am hooked. Like, this is everything. It is just the right amount of brown and mauve and on my skin tone, it is a lot more flattering than I thought it would be. And I think it just makes my teeth look very white and it makes any look that I do look really sophisticated. So I have loved to wear this with like nude eyes like I've done today and this on the lips and it just makes like the look look just like elevated. I don't know. How many times can I say like? But it is a really, really nice color. So yeah, guys, that is the end of my June favorites. I feel like I had less products to talk to you guys about, but they are really, like, good products. Perfect for summer. Let me know what you guys' favorites are in the comments below. I have so many really exciting videos planned over the next month or two. I have a list about this long that I want to film, and I cannot wait for all the exciting things that I can bring you guys. So thank you guys for allowing me to share. Again, thank you for letting me hit 100,000 subscribers. It means so so much to me I was like oh my god I never thought I would get there but I don't know it's like now I can get that play button I have something to show for it it's a really cool thing to know that that many of you hit subscribe and I appreciate it more than you guys know so thank you guys so much for watching and have a great week bye